In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to code a color by number poop emoji. You will be able to hit a draw button so you can color in the whole poop emoji at once. There will be a reset button to reset it back to its original numbers, along with four draw buttons, each corresponding with a different color on the poop emoji. This way you can color it in one color at a time. Here we go. Let's begin by creating a new file. Click on blank workbook. Now let's save the file. I'm going to call it pixel art emoji. Now we need to save the file type as an Excel macro enabled workbook, a .xlsm file. This will allow us to code the macros within it. Then click save. First, we need to change the size of the cells so they are nice square pixels. Click on column A and hold down, then drag your cursor to the right until you reach column CZ. Right click and a drop down menu will appear. Select column width and set it to 1. Next, click on row 1 and hold down. Then drag your cursor down to row 50. Right click and a drop down menu will appear. Select row height and set it to 9. Now that looks right. To make it easier for you to follow along, we are going to change the number font color to black. Now we will add a grid. And finally, zoom in to 200%. Here you can pause the video and take a picture of this image of the poop emoji. Let's start drawing the poop emoji. AJ20, this looks like a good place to start. Click on AJ20, set the fill color to black. You can see that black is 000, the absence of all color. We will make black number 4 by typing the number into the cell. We will be using lots of copy and paste commands, control C and control V. Next is the white. You can see that white is 255, 255, 255, the presence of all color. We will make white number three. We can change the font size to nine and center it so that the numbers fit in the cells. Next is the light brown. It is 170 red, 113 green, and 56 blue. Light brown will be number two. Next is the dark brown. 
It is 116 red, 77 green, and 38 blue. Dark brown will be number one. Let's speed things up. And now we finished drawing our poop emoji. The next step is going to be creating the buttons. Go up to the Insert tab and click on the Shapes button. Go down to Flow Chart and pick the circle. Click and drag to make your circle. Right click on it and go down to Format Shape. Click on the Size and Properties button. Make the height and width of the circle one inch. Make the vertical alignment middle centered, and then zero off the margins. Go back to the Home tab and change the font size to 14. Type Draw onto your button. Go to the Fill button. Change the color to the standard dark green. For the trim, we are going to use a darker green. Finally, we will go to the Effects button. Set the top bevel to convex. Change the width and height to 11 point. Change the bottom bevel's width and height to 6 point. Lastly, we will change the material to metal to make it look super cool. Use the copy and paste command to make five more buttons. We will arrange four draw buttons under the poop emoji. Along with two buttons on the side. We are going to change the text on this button to reset. We will make these buttons draw one, two, three, and four to correspond with the four colors. The last thing is to change the reset button to a standard red. Again, we will make the trim a little bit darker. Our graphics are complete. Now let's dive into the code. We need to go to the Developer tab. Now if your Developer tab is not showing, you can view our video Enable VBA Macros in Excel to Play Ranger Quest. You can also follow along and update your ribbon. And set your macro security to enable your macros to function. Let's start creating macros. We will call the first macro draw. To start off, we will declare a variable named pixel and set its type as variant. Variant is the Superman or Wonder Woman of variable types. It can do anything. Next, we are going to create a for loop. A for loop will continue the same action over and over again for the specified range. This code will make our variable pixel equal to the value in each of the cells between AC11 and AW30. The for loop is closed out with the next pixel notation. Similar to a printer, the for loop will select all of the cells in this range. Outside of the picture, our variable pixel will be equal to zero and nothing will happen. Inside the picture, our variable pixel will be equal to 1, 2, 3, or 4. We now require an if statement so that we can have multiple commands that are dependent on the value of the variable pixel. 
The first if statement will have an if and be followed with a then. You can have multiple ifs, however the rest will have the notation else if and be followed with a then. The code will proceed to the first if statement that is true, complete the command, and then finish with the end if statement. An end if closes out the if statement. Now we require our commands. If the variable pixel is equal to 1, we need to color this square dark brown. The RGB code for the dark brown color is 116738. We will also change the font color of the number 1 to dark brown. It will look like the number has disappeared, but it is actually still there. It's just the same color as the background. We will use copy and paste a bunch of times to fill in the rest of the commands. If pixel is 2, then the square needs to be light brown. If pixel is 3, then the square will be white. Finally, if pixel is 4, then the square will be black. You will notice for the black square, we don't need to change the font color of the number because it was already black. Let's move on to our next macro, which we will call reset. Again, we will start off by declaring our variable. We will use the same variable name for all of our macros to keep things simple. This macro will do the same thing for all the cells in the for loop, so no if statement is required. We will change the font of all the numbers back to black This command will remove the color from all of the cells. To speed things up, we are going to skip ahead and complete the draw1, draw2, draw3, and draw4 macros. The draw1 macro has its variable declared. It has a for loop, and it has a single if statement to color squares dark brown. The draw2 macro will color squares light brown. The draw3 macro will color squares white. And the draw4 macro will color squares black. You can pause the video here to complete your coding. Let's save and get back to our artwork. Right-click on the Draw button and select Assign Macro. There is a macro for each of the buttons we have. And it works! To finish off, we just need to assign the macros to the other buttons. Now, after all your hard work, you're almost ready to show your friends and family. Enjoy coloring the poop emoji all at once or one color at a time. I especially like using the separate draw buttons to color my poop emoji. Visit us at our YouTube channel, Minotaur Maze Engine, or our web store at www.minotaurmazeengine.com. Thank you from the Minotaur Maze Engine. The maze where the walls move.